Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making picadillo. This is something I make all the time. It's the sort of down-home cooking that I grew up with. I just never thought of sharing this recipe until someone requested it. So here you go. The way I make picadillo has a lot of similarities to the way I make my green chili stew. So I'll put a link to that video for those of you who might be interested. But one of the biggest differences is I always use ground beef when I make picadillo. So I'm starting with one pound of ground beef. You'll need two to three potatoes, depending on the size, a couple of Roma tomatoes, I've got some hatch green chili that I pulled out of the freezer this morning, and I'll probably use about half of this bag. And I should say real quickly that um, this recipe is not precise. I sometimes use a little more of something than the other, but it always works out. I'll just put some guesstimates in the description box below for you. I've got uh, half a white onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, You'll need some water here again. I just put this out here to remember that we need water, but the amount will depend on how much fits into the pan. I've also got about a teaspoon of chicken bouillon, another teaspoon of cumin, and you'll need salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to prep my ingredients. That means chopping up the tomato, the chili, and the potatoes. You can cut the potatoes into cubes, but this is how my mom always cuts them when she makes picadillo. So now guess who does it exactly like her? I pretty much have turned into my mom. In fact, I remember the exact moment that it happened. My daughter was little and I was calling her and she was lollygagging and I, and I told her, Marisa, get over here immediately, if not sooner. And when those words came out of my mouth, I was like, mom, was that you? Because who says that immediately, if not sooner? My mom does. Anyway, it's kind of funny how that happens. Surely I can't be the only one. I'd love to hear it if you're turning into your parents. Let me know in the comments. Now that everything is ready to go, we can fry the ground beef in just a little bit of oil. When it's almost done cooking, add in the chopped onion, and the potatoes, and let them cook for a few minutes. Then add in the minced garlic, the chopped tomatoes, and the chopped green chili. Continue cooking for a few minutes longer while enjoying the wonderful aroma. I'll go ahead and add in the chicken bouillon and the cumin. I'll mix everything well. Then you can add in the water. I add just enough to where it almost covers everything that's in the pan. I'll mix everything well and let it come to a boil. Then I lower the heat, cover and let it simmer until the potatoes are fork tender and all the flavors are married together. This should only take about 15 minutes. Finally, I season with salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Give it a good mix and this picadillo is ready to eat.
I'm serving my picadillo today with rice and beans and of course a tortilla and I can hardly wait to dig in. Mmm, that is so good. To me, picadillo is just the ultimate comfort food. You've got the ground beef, potatoes that are nice and tender. You've got the chili and this one's got a kick to it. Pero tiene que picar a ser picadillo. In other words, it has to have a little bite to it to be called picadillo in the first place. So I really hope you try this recipe. And by the way, next week, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Mexican rice. So come back for that one. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. I post one new recipe every week. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.